Hey friends and welcome back to the Gubba Homestead. I'm Gubba and today is a big day on the homestead. It is the last day that I'm going to be milking my cow for two months. So I'm going to be drying her off, which simply means I'm going to stop milking her. This is my last day and tomorrow I won't be milking. I've been milking her for the last two months since I got her and it's been such a cool experience just getting out there and being able to bond with her. So I'm a little sad today that it's the last day, but I want to take you guys along with me and have a fun morning experience because it's early and it's beautiful. So let's go. I have got all of my equipment, my two milking pails, my washing pail, my iodine dip. Here's what I actually use, a 1% iodine teat dip to help keep her clean. And now I'm gonna take all this out and head on back to the barn. We've arrived back at the barn and like I said, it's early, it's about 6 a.m. The birds are chirping and it's a cooler morning this morning, which is awesome. And Moo, the cow, loves it when it's a cooler morning. When it starts to get hot, she gets a little grouchy. So I'm just gonna clean this place up a little bit and then we're gonna get to milking. All right. Good morning, Moo. She's got a string on her head, which I believe she probably found in the hay. So I'll take that off when she's in the stanchion, but how you doing? I have Moo's favorite thing in the whole entire world, which is grains with molasses. She even comes over. Oh, she's heading to her stanchion because she knows. Yeah, come on. Let's go. I'm just gonna pop her in the stanchion. Give her a scoop. First, I'm gonna get this off. What are you doing? She's always told me that she can't wear a bridle or, you know, wear something on her face, but I think she's full of baloney because she had this on. All right, so now we're gonna get prepping for milking. So now I'm just gonna clean her up. I have paper towels with hot soapy water. And then, oh, yep, gonna clean her up and try not to get hit by her tail. All right, so this is literally what I do. I take the paper towel, just rub, make sure she's not dirty. Sometimes she lays in cow pies and that's always fun. That's always a surprise. And she's already starting to let down her milk because milk's coming out of here. And so you can feel that it's like hard right here, which means she's got milk. Same right here, this this will fill up. And yeah, here comes her milk. So she has fully let down her milk now. She's starting to leak out. So I'm just gonna squeeze a few times, get the milk out, and then we will start milking. I'm gonna get her some more grains and then let's get to it. It's our last day together, and then you're free and never have to deal with me again. She's like, where's the green? I don't care. All right. So I'm pretty sure she knows it's her last day because she is whipping me with her tail. And I'm about to get her to half a gallon, and then I'm going to empty this milk into the other pail. And she's adjusting a lot, and so I don't know. She must know. All right, so I have my half gallon right here, and I come and put it into this one because I've learned my lesson that if I keep going, she'll probably knock it out. So I come over here, and this is like my safe pail. All right, so I have gotten her down to about a gallon. So I'm only milking her out a gallon. And she started at like three and a half gallons. So I've slowly tapered her down because I want her to be comfortable when I stop milking her. Okay. 
So I'm on my so I'm on my second pail right now, which means I'm going up to a gallon. I just did a half gallon. I'm going up to a gallon and I think she knows it's her last day. Cause she, I'm telling you, she never whips me quite like this. And she her tail is flying. But have you guys ever milked a cow before? It's actually kind of a bit of a learning curve. Maybe you guys have seen how my hands are working down here milking. So you kind of like grab her like this. Oop. And then you slowly squeeze out. In the movies, they show, <laughs> or in cartoons, it's like this, but it's definitely not. I taught one of the neighbor girls how to milk because she wanted to learn. She's a teenager and it was kind of funny watching her learn because it is like a bit of a learning curve, like learning how to just like <laughs> hold and get the milk out. Oh gosh. And uh, she's getting impatient with me. And she was like, at the end, she's like, this is a lot harder than I thought it was. But once you get going, man, you get going. And I've really enjoyed all the milk Moo has given me. milk for the day and she could keep on going milking but because I am drying her off I'm not gonna do that I've worked up to this point or worked down to this point for the amount of milk and I just want her to be comfortable and yeah this is it my last milk haul so she could definitely keep going but I gotta stop her off at some point Last and final thing I do is the teat dip, the iodine dip, so I'm gonna do that right now. And that's it. She's done, she's clean, and we're ready to go. This is the last time. And I consider myself lucky because she didn't drop a pie on me. All right, it's our last time I'm letting you out. Yeah, are you a happy cow? Okay, I know it probably doesn't feel like we're done, but we are. We're all done. She doesn't know what to do. She's like, huh? All right, come on, let's go, go, go. Yeah, shh, shh. yeah come on. So this is the last time I'm going to be seeing this for two months. And when she has her baby, then we'll be back out here. So I'm just going to get this cleaned up here in the next week. And then I can finally sleep in a little bit. So let's go see how much milk we got. I'm excited. And then what I'm going to do with her milk is I'm going to freeze it. So then I have it on a cold rainy day over the next two months. So we had some first and last today, the last of Milk and Moo, and the first of her rolling in poo. Really, the last day. And you're just gonna go roll in cow pie. So now I'm gonna have to wash her out. She's gonna have to get a bath. And uh, I'm gonna go filter the milk first. We're back at the farmhouse. We're literally just gonna filter the milk. I have a milk filter a little funnel and then another filter and then these half gallon jars that I just emptied of milk that the previous milk went into the freezer. Anyway, so 
what I'm doing right now, my system is I put the milk in here and then I let it sit for a day. I take all the cream off and then I freeze it. So that's been my system the past two weeks because I'm trying to get all the cream separated so then I can make butter and use it in recipes instead of having to thaw and get the cream and wait for it to separate. So we're just gonna get the milk. We're just going to pour it in. That's a wrap for the milking season of 2022. This is my last gallon from Moo, and I'm just so thankful. She's been the best little milk cow. I've loved having to go out and milk her, even though I don't get to sleep in, but it's just been this thing that her and I have had. And she has given me an abundance of milk, an abundance of cheese, an abundance of cream, and butter over the past two months and I cannot wait to milk her again in two months when she has her baby and start getting milk again. She's been absolutely amazing. So thank you so much for coming with me on my last day of Milk and Moo. You guys are the best. Thank you, thank you. A little surreal experience for me. I went from not knowing anything about a milk cow to having a milk cow and now I'm drying her off and I'm gonna be back milking in two months. So don't do anything you got one do. You guys are the best and have an amazing day.